Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. Just two days, Tran. Two days. <laughs> and we got our number two player on the countdown. Mr. Colin Johnson, the uh, Mr. YouTube himself. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, you know, got an awesome vlog on yeah. YouTube. We'll have the link to that. And, got, you know, first off, I just want to say I look at Colin and, and a lot of different, he serves a lot of different hats on this team. I was telling you earlier, I think he's one of our co he's probably the co pilot, right? To yeah. to the main pilot being Sam Ellinger in terms of leadership, mm -hmm. in terms of leading by example. One of the things I love about this young man is he holds not only his teammates and his position group accountable, but he holds his quarterback accountable as well. Yes. Uh, I loved some of the all access clips that we had of, you know, Sam challenging Sam to put the ball right on him and, and showing him different angles where he wants the ball in terms of coverages and whatnot. And I've just seen him grow up so much. In these last four years, and he's another guy like we talked about with Brandon Jones, who came back, yeah, yeah. right? Who could have gone to the NFL after finally starting to get those production and get some of the numbers, but he's back with us. Yeah. So um, positives. Everyone knows the positives. He's ultimate catch radius guy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, six six yes, two twenty. Yeah. And, uh, and not only that, he's athletic too. I mean, there's there's even a video out there where he catches a, a football doing a backflip. You know, and that takes a lot of coordination. And athleticism to do, Absolutely. but, but the, the things that concern me is, with all that said and done, he's never had a season of a thousand yards or more. Mm -hmm. And I know you'll go into it a little bit more of the little periods of he disappears, and also I'll let you go into that. Yeah, yeah. So the the consistency with Colin has to be there, and I, I think the injuries concerns, especially with the knee, and, and just showing again, you know, he had knee issues going back to high school, right? Yeah. And so the injuries have slowed him down a little bit, his time here at Texas. I think quarterback inconsistency has slowed him down a little bit here at Texas. I think scheme has slowed him down a little bit here at Texas. But also his ability to get open, hand fighting, physicality, always playing up to his size, and just being a dog. That hasn't always been there with Colin. Yeah. I think we started to see that scheme get there last year. Before he, you know, even ending the year in a knee brace, he still fought, you know. Yes. And I saw one of the things that really excited me, two things that excited me uh, that I saw from Colin last year. A, being able to play out of the slot. They were able to move him around a little bit. We were able to scheme him open a little bit better. And number two, just showing a better uh, physicality all across the board. Getting off the line of scrimmage. Also catching the ball underneath and being able to run after the catch. That's another ability that he has that a lot of big guys don't really have mm -hmm. uh, that you see uh, even in, in, in the NFL, right? So, Colin's a special player. Yes, he is a special player. And one of the things that we didn't mention is how many pass interferences did he draw last year? It's insane, dude. He had, what, like three in the Oklahoma in the Big 12 game? And, and, and when he's on, unstoppable. it's unstoppable. Yes. When he's on, there's nobody in the country that I trust more on a 50-50 ball deep downfield than Colin Johnson right now. Maybe bias as a Texas fan, but give me another guy on a 50-50 ball, man-to-man, -man, we're both mm -hmm. here fighting and jostling. Give me Colin, because I know he's either going to, like you said, he's either going to shield the defender and get that pass interference call, or he's going to go up and get it. Yes. And we, and as long as we can get that dog out of him consistently, and I'm seeing some dog in practice in him. I'm seeing his, you know, that, that he's playing for money. He's yes. playing for money. Yes, it's a paycheck. You know, you brought up, we were talking about Johnny Johnson, his yes. father, who's, you know, two-time unanimous All-American. Unanimous is the key word, too, <laughs> by the way, which is fan. Um, right. Um, he ain't catching daddy, yeah. right? Uh, but daddy was also a first-round pick. Yes. And I think it would be really cool for him because right now, Matt Miller, I know, has Colin his number one rated senior wide receiver. And, you know, if he's able to stay healthy... That his skill set translates beautifully to the NFL, um, you know, from just as a red zone threat alone, right? So, you know, he has the potential to, you know, I would love to see a father-son combo as first-round picks. Colin has some work to do, mm -hmm. but we have him number two because we believe in him and we believe even with, you know, he was right there neck and neck with LJ for a while in terms of statistically last yes. year. Um, before LJ pulled away playing the slot position and Colin started to really kind of deal with his knee a little bit. Uh, the other thing I will say this about Colin, he had a really tight relationship with Shane Bouchelle. Mm -hmm. They were roommates. 
they're very, very close. And I think it took some time for him to, and Sam to kind of develop a very similar, or, or not even similar, develop their own relationship. Yeah, just gel together. Yeah. Just gel, yeah. And they're there now. I can say that conf- confidently. Easily. They're Easily there now. That, yes. Sam trusts him. And, and and you talk you were talking about just the safety blankets. I love that point. Mm-hmm. You know about all the great UT quarterbacks. You know everyone had one. Um, Colt had Jordan. Vince had well, he wasn't a wide receiver, but you know yeah, David, David Thomas. Thomas. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he, I think he had sixteen receptions in the national championship yeah. game. That's a safety blanket. Yeah, and Chris he's Sims. the ultimate safety Chris blanket. Sims. I know so well. Chris Sims had Roy. Yeah, y'all hate when I bring up Chris Sims like he wasn't breaking records, but that's neither here nor there. And then Major Applewhite, Kwame Cavill, and those guys back then, right? So, like, all the the guys that have been really productive have had that Mm co-pilot, right? And and I love what Colin Johnson has given this program, but the best is yet to come. Number two player on this countdown. Mr. CJ. CJ Horn's always up. 